Well, it's time. It's Vader time. So, as many of you know, um, obviously with uh, George Steele being more prevalent, he's been released now twice as a mega. He was um, unearthed in several of the anniversary tokens by uh, various people I've seen through social media. Um, it makes Vader someone who is a possible destination. Obviously, you know, there are powerhouse fuses, there are new generation fuses, there are all different kinds of fuses. So even if you have a situation where, um, you know, you want to put him, you want to put steel on next big thing, there's a lot of times where you can't use him. So Vader's a good alternate. And let's take a look at how we'd run him. It's pretty simple. What you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to run the two, um, the two green moves, ideally with the red. Um, unfortunately, um, like everybody else in this game, um, I'm very TP poor. So you're only going to be able to see it at level 9 here. Um, because at this juncture, uh, I really just don't have the TP. And I don't use him enough where I'm going to use my red TP. I'm almost there. I have some options such as uh, Bobby Roode, who maybe we'll do a tutorial at some point for him later. Um who would need that red TP. So I'm just going to leave it at number nine. Trainer-wise, what we're looking at is, ideally, you can go with a couple different ways here. And we're going to play it both ways. We're going to do um, Cesaro, and we're going to also do George the Animal Steel. Now, with Cesaro, him under... Uh, 2,500, he's breaking 3. If you get him all the way up to 5,000, he's going to be breaking 5, which is actually significant because it's not really one gem. The additional breaks that you have give you the opportunity to set up cascades, to set up other matches, and that's really what you're going to want to do here, whether it's regenerating the green um, to get the choke slam ready or to ideally get your most impactful gem, which is the red gem. Additionally, um, clearly you see George the Animal is, is a 4 MP. And off we go. Um, another value for Vader is there's a couple ways, you know, where you can play him. Um, one, you can tag him with Bam Bam. 20% gen damage is nothing to sneeze at. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day, it's not really a terrible move there. Because if you look here, we're looking at a 9 charge. So, one match, whether it's 1 MP with the WCW link or not still puts you in a position where you're breaking. Does it make it easier to then get the choke slam ready? Yeah, it does. Um, but if we're already breaking a heck of a lot of, um, of gems, it's not really that necessary. I would argue that maybe we don't go with the WCW link, even though it gets us one closer, and we go with the additional gem damage when we're using Cesaro. And that's important to note. Um, because obviously, if we're using B, uh, Big John Stud, and you'll see, we're going to want to get to that green move as fast as we can. So even though the gems make maybe more um, impactful, we still want to get there quick. And there's the WCW link. So what we're going to do from a versus perspective here is we're going to we're going to first go with the WCW link. And I'm a big fan of just let's keep it to the same class, so we'll put him with the giant. Um, we got a bot here, so this will make things a bit easier for us um, with Veda. And let's, off we go. So, I mean, the, the gameplay itself, I mean, it doesn't really take a rocket scientist to figure out you know, what you want to do. We want to get greens. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go with a nice little black, and we have our greens that we're looking for. So there's a couple strategies when you're breaking gems here. Um, the strategies tend to be either, you know, ideally you want to set up matches or you want to get gems. I, I like the best of both worlds. Let's both see if we can set up matches and we can get gems. And a great example here is let's take a look what we can do with the, uh, with the red gems. We can knock out both. We're knocking out that and we're setting up the green. Because remember, we're going to need two greens to end up getting us to, um, to have that 12 choose move ready next turn because there's no way we can avoid it you see where the pin bar is there's absolutely no way you can avoid a situation where um where where we don't have a pin so additionally let's use our heads here a little bit um 
we're we're basically setting up as much we can try to to set up look the black here is going to be a match because they, we're each taking it down two so there's a couple ways to do that where because initially there'll be the break it'll match and then it'll go down um, but it's moving down too so it's part of part of that game is do we take it all the way down or do we just on the more safer side to get the finisher ready let's just take out some red so let's see what we got Boom. As expected, we have a kick out. Now, usually I'd say let's be cautious in terms of what we can do. But what we're going to do here is we're going to set up the five in another match. We should be safe. There's nothing we should worry about in this circumstance here. Now, with the wild card, we actually get an additional turn here. So if we're facing somebody else, um, and based on where the pin bar is, we actually would be safe doing this um, four across, and we'd still be able to do the finisher. Um, so that you get an extra turn, and then, and then we get an extra turn. So that five across does set it up. In this circumstance, we're just going to do the finisher. And if we are farming or doing anything else fun, you know, we can usually clip a few of these uh, loot boxes while we're at it. So that kind of gives you an idea of one way to run um, Vader with steel. Um, a lot of times prior to steel, and I'm not going to run the set, but I'm just going to talk about it a little bit. If you don't have steel, um, a very prevalent way people would run him would you'd obviously have the Bray set up. Bray, um, the black move changes to green, and it changes, I believe, red to um, it changes. Uh, I was going to say red to green, but I'm going to verify that because I don't play with him enough where I know him completely cold. It changes purple to green so it changes the purple to green and then at that point you you, you can pick your poison um it's not a whole lot of purple but um so some people use the adr because you, i'm a big believer in if it's linked to a gem there's better places to put your gem damage or rather your gem change character because sometimes you won't get any benefit of him at all if for example you know it's a change six um if you're using big john stud on the warrior for example he changes six greens to red if there's only seven on the board you're only getting the benefit of one gem even though you have a trainer um you know it, that could give a maximum force so it's really kind of a waste um another way to run him with the black move is um you can obviously go with either the choose, which takes a little bit longer to get to, or most likely like we just did with Cesaro. Um, but that's an alternate way to run Vader. I'll also note that with the WCW link, the Bray move with Bray maxed, the black move starts charged. And, you know, that is a real nice advantage to start. So let's swap out Cesaro right now for Big John Stud. And it's funny, I was just talking to um, Armageddon this morning before I did this video, as everybody, anybody who plays this game knows him um, as basically the all-time leading scorer. And I was joking that I actually had the choice between taking Ziggler, as we see here, um, or him up to 5,000. And I, uh, I ended up taking Ziggler, and then, of course, I pulled... Uh, Lex Luger the following week and uh, at this point I mean you can see he's at 3340 it's about 3 million coins and at this point you know Luger is effective enough where it's on the back burner will I get him the 5000 sure and anybody if Vader is a primary I think it's imperative in this situation to get him to 5000 because he's only choosing 6 he's not choosing 8 this isn't 8 to 9 7 to 8 this is only 6 so if you're going to focus and use this choose you probably want him at 5000 um that being said I still expect him to be effective here and let's see what we can draw um Again, we'll go with a bot. Bot gives us a little bit more leeway, just so I can show the moves off a little bit more. But what we will do differently here is, you know, we will go with the, um, 
we will go with the Bam Bam move. Why are we going to go with the Bam Bam move? Because we're going to rely um, a bit more on the gem damage than getting to the move specifically. So, we because re we're going to be choosing the reds, we want the gem damage to be paramount. We're not at a race necessarily to get to the finisher um, where that one MP really plays a role. So, let's see if we can get. We have no green match, um, which, you know, for what it's worth, it was kind of expected. So, let's let's get some red right off the bat. Once again, the, the board is fairly, it's a fairly weak board here. Um, let's at least clip this out and maybe we'll get an influx of something to work with. So out of all of that, there wasn't any green. <laughs> um, but, you know, that's... <laughs> and of course, the computer being the idiot they are, decided instead of, you know, taking a, a blue match that could let them live, they went with the loot crates. So... Unfortunately, we're going to have to run this again. It's interesting. You see the Undertaker there. Um, he's obviously required in the road, but now um, as the game has progressed the way it has, the... Um, the management has removed him as a starter pack. So this could create a problem later on. I mean, obviously all of us kind of recognize the fact that hell mode is not on the horizon, but it could be it could play a role where there could be a lot of newer players unable to progress the way we, you know, the way we have just because, you know, that wonderful undertaker is uh, you know, not available. And here we are again. I mean, no green matches. Um I could try to set it up knowing they're going to get a purple, and I think that's probably the best move right now. So that's what they're going to do, and I'll get my green match this way. That kind of tactic against the turn two guy just doesn't work, just as an aside. So I'm not recommending it. So here we are. We're in a situation where um, I still need two to get it going. So I can't really set up a cascade. I can't really do much of anything. Um, I just got to make sure I get the um the greens here i'm gonna do a choose but i still want to at least pick up a red match while i can and that's what we're doing so there's a couple ways we can do this here um we got to choose i'm gonna sit again any secondary match is a positive i think we're gonna do here we're gonna go like this and it's you know your standard choose move um additionally i'll add this so we can get the row across and get as much as we can um, or you know what let's just get a little bit more creative here and we can set this up an additional match so we can take a look boom and you know good night Irene so I mean, that's if, if everything works out well I mean we're talking about laying that thing out turn two so it's it's an impressive layout it makes them extremely viable and, you know, it puts us in a situation where we have the ability to, you know, go at an opponent um, and really, really take it to them. I mean, you're seeing it against the bots. Um, I was, let's, let's do it against Seth just to see where we're at. So, fortunately for us, we've got a whole lot to work with here. Let's take a look at this. We got, we're going to take that five across. And then we have a bonanza of options here. <laughs> Knowing full well that, um, let's see, we need, we need three still. So, I could have gone with the four across here, which, you know, would have sent a nice message to Seth. Um, but... It's probably not advisable. Um, this would actually be a five, and it would drop down, and I would come up and I'd pin, but I wouldn't get the match I needed, which is unfortunate, you know. And then also I'd clear out his his purple where he would end up, you know, doing what he does. But I'm looking here; he's got the move charged, which as you'll see is a is a pain in the ass. I'm gonna do this more as a defensive move here. <laughs> 